Thanks, everyone, and welcome. <clears throat> I'm Andy Norton. I'm Director of Research at ODI. Um, before I came to ODI about a year ago, I was um, working in the Social Development Group of the World Bank, and one of the major work streams I was involved with them was the um, Community of Practice on Political Economy Analysis with Brian Levy and the Public Sector Group and Ed Campos at the World Bank Institute. So it's um, very welcome for me to have this um, initiative, the, the joint um, journal edition with DAI, and we're very pleased to be launching that today and to have a great panel here as well. Um, Malcolm, are we being streamed? I'm just checking because I haven't seen that yet. So welcome also to people joining us online and we may get comments in from them during the course and questions during the course of the meeting. Um, a couple of quick things. One is if a fire alarm goes off, it's real. So we go out and down the stairs and outside. Um, and the other thing is I think if you go outside, you'll see the signs outside for the bathrooms for, uh, if you need to use them during the event. And also please um, turn off, as I will now, um, your mobiles or put them on silent. Um, and I'm going to do that myself. So. Okay, so um, this event is basically, as I understand it, to review um, where we are with the practice of political economy analysis and the practice of development. Um, and over the last 10 years, there's been a great deal of focus on this um, from the Drivers of Change initiatives in DFID, which uh, Alex was centrally involved with, as well as various people here. And a sense that um, development underperforms when it doesn't understand the political context, um, whether that's about project design or about um, reform, sector reform or national reform processes or um, any other element, including country dialogue. Um, but I think we've always found it difficult to demonstrate the results of that. Um, and we've always found that there is um, a tendency to under-resource this area um, and to struggle to both, if you like, in terms of the value for money agenda with the input end, with having enough resources to take this on um, effectively, and also with demonstrating the difference it makes. So I think those are still outstanding challenges, and I think this is a very, very um, timely and welcome addition to the literature um, on those elements of political economy analysis in development. And I'll start by introducing our two speakers, and I'll introduce the other um, members of the panel um, as well at the same time. Um, very pleased to... Uh, the first speaker will be Alina from... Uh, Menakal from our politics and governance group. Um, Alina is a research fellow with particular experience on challenges of democratisation and state building and the state society interface. And ODI, um, Alina has led much of our work in those areas uh, and published a number of blogs, working papers and briefings on that, which I'm sure a lot of you will be familiar with. I'm also delighted to welcome Stefan Kosov who's a senior governance advisor within DFID and team leader of DFID's politics, the state and society team within the governance and fragile states group based in London. Um, and he's just, mouthful, yeah, he's just given us a very um, full account of an incredibly wide ranging work program that his team is taking on, which you know, ranges from trying to take forward the result, working with DFID's results agenda on governance, which is a challenge, and also um, the account from the empowerment and accountability end through to the state building and peace building um, goals that are very prominent in the run up to Busan and the high level forum on aid effectiveness. Um, I'll also introduce at this point our discussant, um, Alex Duncan from the policy practice, who has a long track record of working in this area. Um, and, you know, since 2002, I think this has been your, your main <coughs> area of focus. And as I mentioned, was part of the team that worked on the, uh, the first big push on this, which was the Drives of Change Studies within DFID. So delighted to have Alex here as a discussant. Um, and after a, a Q&A, um, <coughs> the last word will go to Julian Loblevitt, 
um, who was a colleague of mine in DFID years ago when he was chief health advisor and who is now managing uh, DAI's London office and plays a leading role in um, development um, alternatives international strategy to build a global development company that improves lives in the developing world. And Julian is also well known for having served as the chief executive office of the Switzerland-based Gavi Alliance, um, focusing on um, immunization in particular. Uh, but let's start now with Alina to open the discussion. <laughs> 